the format of being robot. We all remember the famous horror shows like Goosebumps, Tales from the Crypt, and Creep Show. Back in 2010, there was a new show released that was overly dark and even too grim for television. The show was called, Mortimer's Manor. What could be described, according to a Time magazine, Goosebumps meets Tales from the Dark Side and a splash of the Twilight Zone. The show aired back on Spike during Spike's Shocktober drama countdown, which had programs like 1000 Ways to Die, Afro Samurai, based on the video game, few episodes of Ren and Stimpy adult party cartoon, Stripperella, some true TV's drama shows like Lizard Lick Towing, Hardcore Pawn, Top 20 Most Shocking, and of course, Mortimer's Manor. There used to be a book series that was released during 2005 called, Mortimer's Tales from the Manor's Basement. Now, who is Mortimer? Mortimer Vincent Lansford IV was the host of the show. He is described as every single gothic Victorian romanticism person in every story, wearing a perfectly trimmed tuxedo with a tooth gap and sunken eyes with very noticeable dark circles in the eyes. His voice, how to describe it? A deep, fancy yet morbid sounding voice, almost like a mixture of Vincent Price and the ghost ghost from the haunted mansion. This is the only picture that can perfectly describe what he looks like, made by an AI which got his details perfectly. Update, another AI image has surfaced, this one shows the inside of Mortimer's mansion and where, exactly, he sits, it's the first chair over by the fireplace. Each episode had only one story, the first episode aired on October 10, 2010 called, Please Mind the Graveyard. The episode started with the theme song, Night on Bald Mountain, as the camera flies into the manor's doors. A loud creak was heard as it shows Mortimer on the chair by the fireplace with a book in his hands. He smiled. Good evening. Tonight's presentation is a tale about what happens and people conjure the dead. Dire consequences plague these men in the story called Please Mind the Grey. He took an inhale on his pipe and blew smoke at the screen, transitioning into the story. The screen turns black and white as it shows a graveyard with two men with mysterious tethered clothes covered in mud and dirt. Geez, why do we have to do this job? Couldn't we just go back to being cashiers at that shop? The first man asked the second. The second one turned around and sighed. We've already dug through 30 graves looking for gold and silver. Keep digging. The two continued digging. A third man was over by a beaten up truck. The third one opened his window. Hey men, we'll need to carry on quicker. I think- A thunderclap shook the earth as the two stopped immediately, grabbing the two garbage bags as heavy rain was heard. We'll need to get out of here. The first one said, as the two hoisted the garbage bags onto the truck. The two jumped into the truck. A series of car sputtering and rumbling noises were heard as the third guy smacked the truck. Come on! Come on! The third one screamed, and suddenly, everything stopped. The rain, the thunder, it all stopped. The two peeked from the window. What? The one said, looking around. The two got out of the car and looked around the cemetery. Just as they thought, a flash storm. The two chuckled as the two grabbed their bags and were ready to go for another grave. One of them grabbed a shovel and was just about to dig through the dirt when a hand lunged out of the grave. A loud male scream from the first one was heard. Shit! Shit! The second one screamed as he grabbed their shovel quickly and tried stabbing the zombie's hand through the shovel. No luck. The hand suddenly shoved the first one backwards, smacking into a tombstone with a loud clatter. Soon all of the robbed zombies slowly crawled out of the grave, all of them in varying outfits, some with rotting pieces of flesh, others almost looking fresh. One of the zombies stopped in front of the two men and said, You, for the crimes of stealing our gold and silver, we shall tear you from head to toe. You shall feel what we feel, for we are all dead. The zombies snarl and growl in agreement as they all slowly corner the two men. Two loud screams were heard as the two were practically ripped to shreds, the first one being eaten with eating sounds, blood splatter noises, and gurgling noises. The screen faded out before it shone Mortimer, smiling. Well, you know what they say, 
Mind the graveyard, or you shall be eaten. He chuckled elegantly as he closed the book. That concludes this story. I'll see you all next time, in my manner, where we take a look at more stories to make you shriek. Ta-ta. He waves a hand as the camera zooms out of the manor and up to the sky before the credits play. Spike's head of television department, Baron Christopher, demanded the director of Mortimer's Manor, Jonathan York, to make more episodes. Yes, for the first time ever, a lost episode was so good, they wanted more. Jonathan had already had four episodes planned and continued writing while Spike continued airing the exact same episode for separate weeks. Up till October 31st of that year when it held 24 hours of Mortimer's Manor Please Mind the Graveyard, where it played the same episode for 24 hours all through Halloween and up until November 1st at 7.30am. We are not done yet. This is only just the beginning of the show.